Hey guys, welcome back to another video to Team Mysterious Cameraman, and today we're going to be talking about, um, do you copy? So this is a Hungarian, maybe, fan film? I could be wrong. Um, I was, it was a little short, and I don't have many thoughts, so this is probably going to be a very short review, but this was also a pretty short fan film. Um, I will say, I thought it was actually a pretty overall solid short story. I really like that we had a very strong lead character who really drove the plot and I actually felt like even though it wasn't great I feel like the tension was actually held up very well throughout the film I think the way that even though we don't see a single other actor I think the way that we see the voices like the way that the voices are presented how it's done I think it's actually done very well and very it has tension and I feel like it's actually pretty impressive that it does that I think it has some pretty strong music I think a lot of that is very good. Um, I think the dream sequence specifically is very strong. Um, I think that's when it definitely gets strongest, when he's talking to that person, when he realizes what exactly he did and why there's a bear. Um, and then when he also gets at, like, the red bathed vision, I feel like that was very good. And the shot of the eye as well, I feel like, was a very strong shot. So I feel like a lot of that was very good. But... As much as I liked that, I didn't think it was perfect by any means. Um, it was very short, but I don't feel like that's such an issue. But I don't feel like this was like... It, w it was very good for what it was trying to be, but I don't think you can treat it any more than what it was. Like, it was very strong for what it was doing, but I don't feel like it was incredible overall, and I don't think it's like a make-or-break incredible fan film. Um, I think it does a good job sta standing in this one location... But I feel like, again, it's like a part one. I've never played the do you, do you copy game, so I'm guessing that was, like, the very start of it. I could be wrong, but I think that was. So what I think is very fascinating is, like, I've seen so many fan films lately that are, like, it's a short fan film. That's the part one of it. And then they'll see if they keep going. I feel like that's just something that I've noticed that happens a lot lately. I think very few people are very committed to finishing the story. But I also see that this was a very difficult plot to finish. It does seem a pretty ambitious plot. And you even saw how they use a green screen. But yeah, even when you're seeing like the, as I was saying, like the cloths and the green screen stuff, I don't feel like that's weak necessarily, but you definitely saw that that was a green screen. It was clear that it wasn't the most, it wasn't like the most like expensive set or anything, but I also didn't hate it. So let's just talk about the six points. Um, directing I thought was fine. I didn't think there were any crazy shots. I feel like a lot of the shots were very similar. But I don't think that was necessarily a bad thing either. I don't think the shots needed to be incredible for this. Um, editing was good. I thought the editing was like... Actually, the editing may have been one of the weaker parts. I think it was stronger when it came to sound design and stuff. But that's more for music. I think when it came to actual editing with the green screen, I feel like that was actually very weak. But I feel like the sound design was very strong. Um... Acting was fine. There wasn't, like, an incredible amount of acting, and there wasn't so much bouncing off other people, but I thought it was fine when there was performance. The story was good. I actually feel like I followed along with the story very well, which is something I can't say about some fan films. The choreography, there wasn't any. And then the music, I, as I said, the sound design, I felt like, was very strong in this. I feel like the majority of this fan film, the, what this fan film really relied on was its sound design, the way that that was done. So yeah, I feel like that was everything about this fan film. I just feel like it was done very well. I, don't, I just don't think it can be judged about any more than it actually is. It is a short film. And you can't really say it's so much more. Because even in that time, there's a lot of exposition and stuff. There isn't like... I feel like the intro to the game... A little bit of it, and then that was it. Like, it didn't, it didn't go so much into the plot in 13 minutes. But I feel like the pacing for it was actually very good. I actually thought this was good. And if they did, like, a full cut of it, I think this is a very good opening. But, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. But before we end, this fan film was found by Fan Film Finder. It's a Google form that is in the description of every video now. So go check it out. It's a pretty good thing. You can sign up. You can just throw any fan films you want me to review on there. Also, Fan Film Fest 2024 signups. Go sign up for Fan Film Fest now. If you want to see your panel there, go sign up. Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.